Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. Now you may notice that this video may look a little different than my normal videos. Well, there's a good reason for that. Because this one is being professionally produced, shot, and edited by the same company that does my website. That is Cucumber Company right here in Beckley. So if you, you know, need a, a commercial shot, you need a website, you need, you need any type of stuff like that done, give them a call. Their, their uh, contact information will be in the description of the video below. Be sure to check them out. They're fantastic people to work with. Now, what are we doing today? Well, something I've never done. Let's, let's turn the box right now. We are putting underglow LED lights under this RV over here. Once you see these installed, see how they look. If you're interested in getting some of these, they are in my Amazon store. There will be a link in the description to these as well, or go to my website, which these guys built for me. Click on the Amazon link, go to the store. These are right in there. We're gonna unbox this, see what's in here. <laughs> Cause we don't really know what's in here yet. I was impressed. It is uh, one million colors. Who knew there was a million colors? I didn't. So let's open her up, see what we got here. Looks like, looks like we got four separate boxes. This is like one of those Chinese doll things. You just keep opening it. We'll see what's in box number one. Oh, looks like we got five lights, a bunch of wires. We don't know what all those are yet. Let's see what's in box number two. Six more lights, a bunch of wires. We don't know where those go yet. Three more lights, a bunch of wires. We still don't know where they go. All right, this is the goodie box. This has our hangers. It's got more lights, more wires. What's this? Instructions. Get rid of those the first thing, and then just do it however you want. No, I'm kidding. I'm gonna pick those up and read those. And uh, as soon as I read those instructions a little bit, at least get to step one, we're gonna get started. Yeah, I think these lights all just daisy chain, I think. Not that we figure out how long all these wires are. Some of them are pretty long, so maybe, uh, maybe they will work. Oh, okay. So this box here has a input and an output power and two tubes. So this will only run two lights. We have several of these. That's our main control box. That's the, that's the million color lighting kit controller. So we have to power all these things, huh? It's a lot of power wire. But it's gonna be so pretty when we get done. This camper will be the the envy of the whole campground when they when they turn these lights on, I'm telling you. Like a million little twist ties done do, I know that. I'm gonna have a five gallon bucket of twist ties when I get done. So what I'm seeing here is some of these connectors are female. That's our output out of this to the next set of lights. So I'm hoping maybe we don't have to power every one of these things. I hope. That's a lot of power wires if we have to do that. There's so many twist ties on these wires and stuff. I had to get the producer and the videographer in here to help me get all, get all these things off. This is ridiculous. There's like two on each one of these cables. Did not want this stuff flying apart, did they, guys? Yeah. <laughs> these are the uh, remote key fobs. There's two, two fobs, so you can turn the lights on and do all the fun stuff with them remotely. I thought that was pretty cool. We got all the twist ties we could find off. So I think now the thing to do would just be to kind of lay lights out. Cause we got four foot lights, we got three foot lights, we got two foot lights. And I am testing them on the back of the truck here just to make sure that they work. So we're just gonna lay them out, try and figure out what's going where and uh, go from there. All right, well, I think we've got a game plan now. <sighs> Each one of those hubs can run eight lights, eight four-foot lights, 720 LEDs total. So we've got two of those, we actually got three of those. 
uh, what we're gonna call a sub box. I don't know what they call it, but so we've got <laughs> we got plenty of lights. We got plenty of boxes to run the lights. So now I'm gonna figure out how we're gonna attach the lights to the camper. I don't wanna just go up into the belly material uh, because I don't know what's up there. There's wires, there's water lines, there's everything up in there. So I'm thinking I might screw them right straight to the frame, but I don't know, I'm going under here and have a look see. So yes, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna screw them right straight to the frame. That way they'll all be in a straight line. So yeah, it may not be the easiest way, but I think it's gonna work best. Oh! Unnecessary groan number one. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go get some more hardware, some tools, and then we're gonna move to step two or three or four. I don't know what step we're on, but anyhow, we're gonna move on. Thought I was gonna just shoot self tappers in that frame, but this is this is one of them good frames. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. Unless I pre-drill my holes. Yeah, I could do that, I could just pre-drill the holes. But I'd really prefer to fasten it on frame rather than just pull on this plastic belly material. Yeah, let me try pre-drilling a, a hole or two, see how that goes. See if this drill bit's any sharper than that last one. Much better. Oh yeah. That works. So yeah, we're gonna have to pre-drill each hole. Be three clamps per light. So I got a whole lot of holes to drill. And of course, the whole time I'm doing it, I'm underneath the hot shavings. I would go ahead and mount a light, but I don't know which way it goes yet. Each cable on each end of the light is a male and a female to daisy ch chain those lights. You know what, let me figure out which way they go and I'll go ahead and start hanging lights. So the connectors coming out of the mid box, whatever we're gonna call it, has male connectors. So we need to start with the female connector on this end of the light. And all this stuff's gonna be run, all these wires are gonna be run through the floor down here in this compartment. So yeah, that's gonna work. Pre-drilling the holes. Now I got like 50 holes to put put down each side, I think. I've got some different size screws mixed up in here. I hate it when that happens. And yes, those little hot piece of metal falls out when you're drilling a hole. They hurt, just in case you were wondering. That's why I got my safety sunglasses on. Safety first, right? All these wires will get just uh, wire tied up here. We'll get those up here out of the way. We could even stuff them up inside the belly, actually. We'll do something with them. All right, well that is this side. So one more side to do. The gas line runs down that other side. I think it's a steel gas line. So we might just zip tie the lights to the gas line. Or we might use self-tappers. I have to go turn all these lights down so the light's not shining up in the bottom of the camper. Because it, it looks like I got every one of them 180 degrees out. Because why wouldn't you, right? Why would you get it right the first time? <laughs> do that, then we're going to the other side. I'm getting them turned the right way this time, and I'm getting tied the wires up too. <laughs> uh, 
all the lights are hung. And this side is pretty much buttoned up. I gotta go on the other side now and collect all the wires, zip tie them up, and then we're ready to hook it up and start testing very shortly. <laughs> I tell you folks, this has been quite a job. This is quite the undertaking. That's a lot of, a lot of crawling around. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a lot of crawling around. I didn't realize how many lights we had. I thought we were only gonna do one side, to be honest with you. I didn't realize we had 60 feet of light or 60 some feet of light, yeah. If you take on this job, just uh, plan on it taking a while. It's real important when you're tying these wires up too. Don't put them out in, around anything that rotates. Because if you ever have to rotate that, you're gonna be having a bad day. So, gotta be careful. Think about what you're doing. All right, so, I've got all the lights done underneath, all the wires tied up, and a bonus, this customer probably wasn't even counting on, is I have cleaned the, the whole underneath side of his camper. It's all spotless now, because it's all on me. You don't always get bonuses like that on a job, but sometimes you do, so this was a bonus. <laughs> Yeah, now we're gonna go back in this compartment here and uh, we got a couple of those, those, three of those boxes to mount on the wall. They gave us uh, 3M double-sided tape to do that with. And we need to uh, get, I guess, all three boxes hooked to the battery and then we're ready to test. That's what I'm looking forward to. I don't know about y'all. Hang on, we will see some lights shortly. We hope. <laughs> this is just a little bit of butyl. I run some wire, I run some of these wires from out of this compartment down to the lights, um, and I don't have grommets. Uh, but what I do is put butyl around that hole, and it acts just like a grommet. It kinda sets up, you know, and after a little while. Plus it holds the wires, so I don't know. Right, wrong, or indifferent, it's how I do it a lot of times, because I just don't have a big selection of grommets, you know? It's not like I do this kind of work every day. If I installed LED lights on campers every day, I'd hire somebody else to do it. Because <laughs> this ain't a lot of fun, folks. I'm telling you, it's gonna look awesome. So we got three of these boxes to hang, hang on the wall. I think we'll just put them right here. I think they'll stick good right there. They'll be maybe down here on the metal. They'll just have to kind of remember when they're getting stuff in and out of this compartment to kind of not tear these wires loose or nothing. So they'll kind of have to be a little bit careful. We got three of these boxes to hang and we'll, we'll gather up all these wires and stuff and steal, that's a lot of stuff. Wipe that wall off with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Back, rub all, wipe the back of our boxes off same time say so they gave us a 3m tape the double side tape the good stuff so they should stick to this wall pretty good now the trick is to get this little clear layer of uh, film off this 3m tape mercy sakes I hired somebody to do this for me too. There we are. Easy peasy, right? <laughs> Just stick them all in a row across there. Try and keep these wires untangled a little bit, maybe. Uh, yeah. That's easier said than done. These do seem to be some pretty quality connectors, good quality connectors. They should be, uh, for all the connections underneath, they should be pretty waterproof and stuff, it looks to me like. Pretty uh, pretty high quality looking stuff. Need to wipe the back of these off. Rubbing alcohol. Try not to drop these boxes. I don't know how fragile they are, but we don't want to find out either. <laughs> we get to do this again. Let me try this side first. 
with my grubby nails. The white's easy to get off, but that red is not easy. Oh, struggle's real, folks. <laughs> Tell you what, folks, I'm gonna go out here where I got a little bit more light and I'm gonna try this out here somewhere without y'all watching. You make me nervous. <laughs> Actually got a little help. <laughs> uh, it's nice when you're struggling to get a little help. We all struggle, but it's nice to have a friend sometimes. Stick it to the wall. We gotta get all of our power wires, get them run to the battery over here. And all these cables, we will just bunch up and zip tie them out of the way, I hope. We might shoot a screw or two in that wall, a wooden wall right there, maybe, and uh, get those wires up out of the way. So I'm just gonna put some ring terminals on these, cause this is a deep cycle battery. And put these ring terminals on so we can uh, attach these wires to the battery. And they're fused. So you don't have to worry about anything catching on fire. Hope oh, gonna get all the black wires, all three of them, and all the red wires. I'm gonna use my Klein strippers. I tell you, you know, I've been telling y'all for, for, I don't know what, a year or more, how much I love these strippers. But I tell you what, they're starting to wear out. They wiggle, and when they wiggle, it's kind of hard to strip wires, and uh, there's no way to tighten them. I may have to come up with a new favorite wire stripper because those may not be my favorite anymore. But if you want to go check them out anyway, they are in my Amazon store. That's all three of our grounds, black ones. We'll just crimp your roo down. A little tug individually. Yep, they're good. Now we do all three power wires. Same way with my already worn out after only two year Klein strippers. Give the old tug test. Good. So we got all three positives and all three negatives together. Put all the grounds over on the ground side. All right, folks. Moment of truth. Oh, we got we got LED lights on the boxes. That's a good sign. So we should have lights underneath the trailer. Oh, let's step out and see. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Well, there you have it, folks. I would tell you this was an easy peasy job, but it was not. It was a tough job. But wait till you see the shots tonight after dark. This is gonna be awesome. These things are pretty cool. They do a lot of fun stuff. I haven't seen a million colors yet. I've seen maybe three, but there's gotta be another almost million colors in there somewhere because they, you know they wouldn't lie on the box, you know. So this has got a million colors, gotta have a million colors. So um, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, really appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you might even got a little information out of it. I don't know, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna go up the road and fix another one and uh, y'all have a fantastic day.